Um, and in both so much that they must box connected to your name, which is practicing your name, T I D. And Sophie, thank you so much for organising today. And of course, I'm yeah. Are they upstairs for the Urban yeah. Vida breakfast? to tell the truth because if we didn't then people would continue to treat the oceans as, as if they didn't matter and we would continue to overfish and pollute and we would watch the decimation of populations of, of beautiful predators, gorgeous fish, corals, everything else. And so guys, it's been a while since I've caught up with you and the only thing that you guys have missed is that I went to Primark got so many Primark beauty bits so I'm feeling I might do like a Primark beauty haul or something like that. I'm currently now going to have a sit down talk with one beauty, one ocean beauty actually. Um, it's a brand that is really about being sustainable and helping with the planet so I feel like this is a very ethical vlog. Um, so yeah hopefully I'll learn some more and anything I do learn I will share on my vlog. Yeah. You spied to me. And and I've spied to my shoulders. <laughs> there we go. I thought if I could possibly do this, and I don't know if I can pull it off or not, but if I can, there's a way it's a platform for me to help yeah. the oceans, right? So that was kind of one side. And then I had another side of friend talking about the beauty business and she was in her forties and she was pregnant. And she said, I can't find any clean beauty. Well, clean beauty is pretty big in the U.S. right now. I'm not sure how big it is here, but in the U.S. It, it, it's, it's really quite large in the U.S. We have retailers that only sell clean beauty products now. So um, what would you say is clean? Okay, so interesting question. Big, big, there's no definition for clean, right? right? Some companies say I don't have parabands and I'm a clean company. So we have just had a lovely 
lunch and now we're gonna go to the showroom um, of the main on the shop floor. I'm gonna smell some gorgeous fragrances, I'm gonna test it out, kind of find my little signature scent and obviously I'm gonna show you guys around. And it's always you. <laughs> At least it didn't break. At least it was just water. And it was oh just God, water. I got it on camera. <laughs> no. Oh my God, why am I such an idiot? You can see. You no. Can see my glass literally put it over. <laughs> <laughs> There's no denying there. <laughs> that was you. All the food has arrived and Daisy's recommended this. I can't remember what it's called. Fermita. Fermita. Oh, oh, Hermita. My bad, sorry. Don't want to offend you now. <laughs> and apparently it's sweet corn inside. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks really weird. Anastasia looks so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> she, she just went, she just went. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh yeah, yeah. It's one of those. Oh my god.
what happens. Our group will not be taken away from us in this last cause and last two cases. I'll give it away so that I will never break. As long as I wake up today, you can't take my youth away. So guys, I'm currently editing this vlog and I realised that I haven't really ended it and I really wanted to because I had such an amazing time at the Shawn Mendes concert. Honestly, it was like I was a teenager again. I loved it. He's amazing, a great talent, gorgeous. <laughs> I can't believe he's so young. Like if he was only 15 years older... He would totally be husband material. Um, so I just wanted to give a little shout out to his fragrance. That was the whole reason that we actually got to go. Shawn Mendes is very involved in his fragrances, which I think says a lot about him. I mean, he has an amazing work ethic. You can just, you can just kind of tell from somebody that they're hard workers and really take their craft seriously. So. If you haven't already smelt this fragrance, it is amazing. I put it in a Christmas fragrance gift guide um, video. Um, this is the bigger version that I have. I love the little... I've actually kept the plastic so I want it to look really nice and new for as long as possible. Um, so it's got his uh, guitar pick on it, as you can see. And then these here are meant to be like guitar strings um every song he did he had a new guitar and a new pick and it was so nice that he threw his pick into the um into the crowd which was really nice um i don't know why they have new guitars every round if someone could just let me know i'm thinking it's because he plays on it so hard and he wants the music to be the best that it can be every time uh let me know or because I'm like, if he's thrown away a guitar or has to restring a guitar every time he plays it, I mean, I don't know if that's good for the environment. But anyway, this smells so good. It's got like cedar wood, a pineapple, maple syrup, very much of his Canadian roots. Um, it just has that very manly, but yet a woman can wear this. This is unisex, so girls or guys can wear it. Um, also what you didn't see in the video, uh, which is so, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I was going on and on. I talked the girls ears off because I really wanted some Shawn Mendes merch. I had one in particular that I wanted and I didn't care how much it cost. I wanted it and I got it because it's not every day you go to a concert, especially someone that you really like. And the merch is really good. So I got this hoodie. Hold on. If I knew how to like fancily insert a picture, I would. But I really don't know how to do that. I'm so bad at my editing. So one second. Okay, I've got you propped up. Ignore my Christmas bottom pyjamas. Uh, when I'm at, at home, I literally dress like a hobo. Anyway, I really need to show you this hoodie, right? I wanted it really oversized, so when I'm going to the shops, you could just throw it on and it's so snuggly. I'm gonna live in this. So this is the front. Oh my God, have I got stains on it already? How bad is that? Anyway, I love this. This is actually embroidered. It's really good quality. And then we have this here. This is printed on, but it says the tour on it this is actually a very good uh fleecy material it was, doesn't feel tacky at all it was 65 pounds um and then he has his whole tour dates on the sleeves and on the other sleeves which i think is so cool and the back which i just oh, i'm in love with look at that oh it says sean mendes I know you guys can read, but I just had to say it out there for you guys. I um, love it. And it says 2019. So it's something that I can keep and look back and remember, like, the good time. And obviously, I'll have this vlog to refer back to. So 
yeah it was so much fun so that is what i bought at the end i was so excited i mean literally the queues were massive um but thank you so much to the team for like being patient with me and letting me buy my hoodie because this is something i'm gonna treasure forever and i literally like i know this sounds so sad maybe i should admit it i'm gonna admit so i like spray this on the hoodie and honestly it just smells so good and like, i'll sometimes wear it to bed and yeah i'm sad so yeah that was it i'm gonna end this vlog here uh, i'll see you guys next week for another one um thank you so much to the team thank you so much for the lovely dinner and just getting us all together and having a good sing song slash scream slash drawling over Shawn Mendes so yeah um so thank you so much and again it wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the Shawn Mendes fragrance PR team so thank you so much for that and this is a really lovely fragrance if I didn't like it I wouldn't have mentioned it in my Christmas video and I wouldn't have said it because I don't want you guys smelling gross trust me whether it had Shawn Mendes face on it or not um and I think that's it I'm gonna stop rambling I'll see you guys next week and uh, bye bye thank you so much for watching Mwah.